decided to make my camp along this tree line heading down to the river. There's plenty of natural resources and I don't see why we shouldn't have a very nice stay here. So I'm in the rugged wilderness of Holywell and obviously the first thing I'm, do I'm looking to do is to establish a camp. And this looks like a perfect place. Nice little bay here. This will be perfect. As any bushman knows in a survival situation, the first thing you have to do is establish yourself a camp. And of course, the fire is imperative. If I'm going to survive in this harsh terrain, I'm going to need one of those. Right, so I've established my base camp and now I need to make a fire. A lot of people don't realise just how easy making a fire is. All you need is two sticks, any old sticks will do. This one will do, and this one. And you just got to rub them together. Easy as that. Fire is vital, of course. Boosts morale, gives you warmth, protection, and above all, gives you a basis to cook on. Right. In a survival situation, you would have time to persevere with that, but as it is, I'm just going to say to hell with fire, it's not that important. It's only good for warmth anyway. Now that the fire's made, I can afford some time to relax and enjoy the wilderness. So, now that I've made my fire, I have to catch some food. And what better place to get food than the river? Okay, now, in these situations, you have to be prepared. And in my survival pack, I bought the most important thing, socks. Lots and lots of socks. Because the last thing you want is to run out of dry socks, because then you'll have wet feet and you'll just be downright miserable. Now obviously in a real survival situation, probably couldn't have the time to wait all this fine chopping board. But I've afforded myself the luxury. Yes, yeah, so this should be a nice platform for cooking off. Need to get some food now. Okay, so I have to get some food. So what that's gonna mean is I'm just gonna have to suck it up and get in there with the fishes. In survival situations like these, you can't afford to be too choosy about the lengths you're willing to go to. Luckily, I don't have to take my socks off because I bought plenty. There's one! Oh. 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 Ah. 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 Oh, now, it ain't as easy as it looks, okay? Now, uh, oh, bloody knackered. Now, uh, now's the time when those all important socks come into play. Because as you can see, these just aren't good enough to survive in. So it has to be bye bye socks, bye bye wet and smelly socks. Don't worry about that. That's okay. Get a nice clean dry pair and put them straight on. Oh, yes. 
Oh, that feels so good. Now, in a real survival situation, you might not have been had the foresight to bring some spare boxer shorts as well. But luckily, I have mine. So I'm going to change into these and I'm going to be toasty warm. Just making a very simple trap that we learned on one of my stays with the Marley tribe. Should catch uh, something to eat tonight. So I'm just going to come back to that in a few hours. Now, it's a shame that my fishing didn't really uh, bear any fruit, but it's okay because whilst I was getting dr uh, dressed again, I realised there was an ant in the hill down here. I got ants in my pants, and you know what that means? It's dinner time. This is one of many rudimentary foods that you can cook up in a rich land like this. Mm. Mm. It's like nature's tiny little finger buffet. Mm. Splendid. Now the ants may seem a bit disgusting, but you can't be too picky when you're in real survival situations. The meat is actually part of a sparrow. I'm just gonna cut into it now. Mm. Right, now I'm off to go and make a shelter. I'm just checking my trap. Best thing about this trap is it's good for catching large, unintelligent animals. Ray, I was just admiring your trap here. Could you let me down? 